Hello there. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can debug your CTrader Desktop 4.2 and above C bots and indicators using Visual Studio 2022. Um, we've got a post that actually explains more detail what Visual Studio 2022 is and CTrader 4.2. So if you're new to this video, um, I'll make sure there's links at the bottom of this YouTube channel, sorry, YouTube video, that will actually take you to information so you can find out more about it. But this video is more targeted towards um, developers that are already familiar using CTrader and Visual Studio. So what I'm going to do is go straight into um, CTrader Desktop. Now, again, if you're familiar with coding with CTrader, CBots and Indicators, you already know that CTrader Automate tab on the left is where you go to edit your CBots. So this is a CBot we've already got. It's a closed by one. It's very basic. Um, all it does is that when the CBot starts, it creates some events. But when a pending order is cancelled, it calls this method. And this method gets called any time a pending order is cancelled, then it gets the reason of the cancellation and prints it to the log. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a few breakpoints in here just to sh show it happening. Now, before we get started, to get the debugger to work, you need to add a line of code on the onStart method for CBOTS, which is this. And you also can add it on the onInitialize method for indicators. Now, these methods here are called as soon as you start a CBOT or an indicator, it will be called on initialize or initialize. So what we need to do is add this one line of code here, system.diagnostics.debugger.launch. Once you finish debugging, you just comment out the line. You just take it out so that it's no longer there. Okay, so you don't, once you publish it and you want it, you can take that out. But for now, we're going to leave it in because we're doing debugging. Um, the next thing you need to do is the access rights. You need to make sure the access rights says full. Okay, so full access is what you need for now. Again, once you've published it, um, you can change the full access rights back to none. I'll try and go through that again at the end. So the whole idea is for debugging, you add this line of code, you set access rights to full. Once you finish debugging and you want to use the CBOT, you change this to none and you get a new comment out or remove this line. Okay. So what I'm going to do is build this. Make sure it says .NET 6 at the top. If you're using a legacy uh, project or a product, uh, sorry, a project that was created before 4.2, um, as long as it's a very basic CBOT or indicator, you can just change this to .NET 6 and compile it. And that should get everything ready to use with .NET 6, and then you can edit it with uh, Visual Studio 2022. Okay, so the next step is to actually open up Visual Studio. So what we're going to do is right-click on the CBOT and edit in Visual Studio. This is now opening Visual Studio 2022. And then it's going to show us the source code and then we can go ahead and actually start adding um, breakpoints. So this is the project now. Um, it's loaded. It's got full access. We've got the diagnostics um, debugger line of code in there. And now what we want to do now is actually um, add a breakpoint. So we're going to put a breakpoint here. And what will happen is as soon as you start the CBOT now from uh, CTrader Automate, it will hit this breakpoint. We also want to add a breakpoint on the reason. So when an event happens, like a pending order is cancelled, it's going to call this method on pending orders cancelled, and it's going to hit that breakpoint there. So we've got two breakpoints we want to hit. One for when we start the CBOT, one for when an event happens, like cancelling a pending order. So the next thing we need to do is build the um, project. Before we build the project, make sure it says debug at the top. Okay? It has to say debug, because we're in debug mode. If it says release, just change it. Once you're finished with it and you finish debugging, you can then set it to release and build it that way. I'm going to right-click and build. At the bottom here, you can see the build was successful. So what I'm going to do now is go back to CTrader um, Automate, and I'm going to start the CBOT. And when I start the CBOT, what should happen is it will give me an option of debuggers I can choose. So here are the debuggers. Now, you can either create a new instance of um, existing Visual, Visual Studio um, products that are installed on your PC. And in this case, I've got Community 2022 and Professional. I don't want to start a new instance. I want to start the instance that I'm already running with, all, with the breakpoints that I'm already using. So I'm going to choose the one with the product product name, which is closed by, sorry, the project name, and it's Visual Studio Community. If I click OK now, what will happen is if I go to Visual Studio, um, it's actually hit the breakpoint of the first line of code. I need to press F10 to step in. If I press F10 again, it's hit the first line of code to subscribe for pending order events. Now, if I keep stepping F10 till it goes off the end, you can also... Um, Go back to the code. You can also just click the play the continue button at the top to get out of that method. Now what's going to happen now? It's going to wait until a pending order is cancelled and then it's going to hit this breakpoint here. So I'm going to go back to C Trade Automate, go to the chart window, and I'm going to create a uh, pending order. So the pending order has been created. Now when I close this pending order, it should call the event. 
and it should have called the event there and it has I have to press F10 to actually step into it now it's called the event it's captured in this event now what I can do once it's in a breakpoint you can actually um, hover your mouse over the reason the object here and it'll actually tell you the reason why this object um, is cancelled and the reason is it's cancelled by the user now also you've got other kind of events there like expired and rejected so you can hover your mouse over any objects and it'll actually tell you what's going on you've also got the locals and you've got a uh, watch window so the whole idea around um, breakpoints is you can do a lot of investigation on your code to make sure that um, there's no bugs in it or if there's a problem that's not working the way it is or if the data is not being displayed correctly the good thing about um, debugging is you can actually step through the code and as you're stepping through the code, you can see exactly what the code is doing. So debugging on your CBOTs and indicators is invaluable. It's a great tool. And this is why Visual Studio is far better than any other trading platform out there. Sorry, trading platform. Far better than any other sort of, um, as a tool, it's very good for editing your C-sharp code. And it's better than uh, the likes of MT4 and all the rest of it. Okay, so to continue that, I just clicked continue. And it should have printed to the log now. Um, pending order was cancelled. That's it. That's breakpoints for you. So what you want to do is close, I'm oh, sorry, stop the uh, CBOT, go back to your source code. What you want to do before you finish, change this back to none. Okay, so you, do, you, know, you don't want to get full access if you don't need full access. If you do, you can leave it as it is. You can comment out this line of code. Um, you can take out your breakpoints or leave them in. It's up to you. You can change debugging. I've got to close the debugger there. Click that button. I could change this to release if I wanted to. Um, get rid of the breakpoint and build and that's built the uh, CBOT successfully much faster also with uh, Visual Studio I can close this and here you've got the CBOT which is built and it will just run and that's it and if I opened up a pending order it will just do what it's done before okay that's it that is debugging using uh, Visual Studio 2022 and Ctrader 4.2 if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps our rankings so I can create more videos like this to help you thank you